Hi, it's scrapbooking with Lenita time. And today I'm going to show you what I discovered when I was making some ideas for my retreat that actually starts on Wednesday, which is when you're watching this, most likely. And I just wanted something that was quick and easy and that used the Christmas paper or could use any paper. And I found this one from the sketches and I thought, oh, this reminds me of the old strips and triangles, right? So I've got all my little notes there and whatever, but I wanted to keep it simple. And so as I was pulling out paper, looking at Christmassy things, but colors, but wanting a muted type of a background, so then when I flip the paper over, this is what's on the other side. And I thought, oh, that's interesting, but I already cut these pieces. So I don't know, do these pieces go on this side? So again, I was playing with the pieces and looking and I thought, oh my goodness, hold on. Look at the other side of this. Look at the other side. It's perfect for the other side of this paper. The other side of the of this paper is perfect for the other side of this paper. Let's see what this one is. Even that works. Look at that. Uh, so that's what I want to show you how to just quickly make a page like this. Should you have a lot of strips like I have left over from other projects? I did cut some more for you all tonight just to show you. But uh, let's see this one this one isn't decorated but it shows uh, it shows how it's how it can look also and what I'm gonna make is this one again but and give you the measurements not but give you the measurements so four by four square and this one is let me bring them all over here these are one inch strips one by 12 but we're gonna only use pieces if you have smaller pieces it totally works too so that's that's what I want to just show you in a real quick easy way so this is a four by four square and I'll just make a little triangle out of it make that easy so if I'm starting on this side let's say and I want to I want to make a uh, well, maybe I will make this side, huh? <laughs> maybe I will because this is a side I don't have made on the other one. And I am sh I have these tiny little pieces. So what do I do now? Well, I can just flip the idea and do something like this instead. Okay, because that I will cut off. And then, then it just looks a little bit different. But I have leftovers, you know, for making these other things. So I can, I can even add a little bit of red in there, but I can flip the idea and use my leftovers. Isn't that kind of fun? So it looks like I can go all the way to there. And then, and then this would have to be a little bit more of a, more of a space. So that's a way when you have not enough of these and, uh, even this, these are pre-cut already, so why not use them? Just figure out a different way to use them, right? So that's a way on that, and it's just really looks like a fold, especially if I were to bring it up that way. It would look more like the page is folded if I take that one off, right? Doesn't it look like this is folded? And then just a little bit of add-on there. It would just need to be a three and a half inch square on that. But back to this idea. So I'm going to put this here, I'm going to put this here and there, and then uh, I do want to add a little bit of the Christmas cheer look. If you look at this one, this doesn't have, this has all of just the gold and brownish colors or gold and white. And so this one is going to have a little bit of the Christmas cheer on it. Right, so just add, hopefully I didn't run out of the tape runner, but I do have more. We always have more up here, right? Hopefully you always have more, one spare at least. Now the promo is happening. 
this week, the Christmas promo. That is very exciting because there's no, there are gnomes or a gnome punch. Um, all right, so here's what I want to show you my little shortcut. And I feel like sometimes I'm just a little bit lazy on measuring. I actually, I am a little bit lazy on measuring. So I tend to not. I'm just going to cut it instead of measuring. Now, if you wanted to just leave two, that is good. This is this is kind of fun to have the words there also. Um, but I'm wondering if it is a bit much. Maybe it won't be after I cut it. I'm going to add the piece Joy Noel to it. And also keep it with... Uh, keep it with um, the tonal look I guess I've got that as a decoration but a little bit more of a tonal look all right and so there's that now obviously you you all most of you know how to measure and everything but I'm just going to cut it to make it easy on myself and this this does get a bit tricky just so you don't cut the edge of the paper off which i have done but i think i can get this one and now my bottom piece is all straight so i can use that as a guide these little pieces are good for something if you like to keep your scraps use them on the corners of your um, placeholders or your photos that works there's that and then one more and the idea is done isn't that great all right get back into that camera so there we go now it doesn't look as messy it has the oh did i there we go i thought did i put the trees upside down the words are some upside down some right side up um and then i can do decorate or all there is left to do is to add your Add your mats and to decorate. I think this is almost gone because it is a little harder to. And when you add your placeholders or your photos, it just really shows how the page can look and that it does look like a complete page. So now now it's more of a uniform type now the other thing that our stickers have for this christmas set uh oh, where are the okay there's some long stickers too but i guess i was playing with these so here they are notice that there are a lot of these colors the gold in there that makes it fun and the silver uh so let's see i pulled this one this one says noel i'm gonna pop this one Ooh, i think i want to pop that one in the middle do i no, I'm going to put it on the side because as I look at things, I want the pictures to be, I want the pictures to, to be there. You know, I want, I want there to be room for pictures. So I'm just going to add peace, love, Let's see off of that. No, that looks a little funny. Let's just do that. I don't know where to put that in there. How's that? <laughs> oh, okay. And then... Now, if I want to add color, because it is, uh, it can be Christmassy, totally good to add a little bit of color, right? But if I want to keep it more on these colors here, then, like I said, look at all those things. There's this that can be, or just a white that can have a little tiny, uh, a little tiny word there. So there's there's fun stuff you can use. And these little embellishments, these are the ones that came with the, when you bought the kit, the bundle. It's always worth buying the bundle. So just think of that when those bundles come through that are very brief and, you know, for just a few, a few weeks that we get them but anyway so that would be that but let me bring this one back to show how this would look and i'll put i'll go ahead and put the black mats up here you could leave it like this you can put a full one or if you want to follow the sketch 
those trees are upside down. Look what I did there. I didn't even notice. Ah! And, and I can bring it more over here. Put those there. And there we go. So there's that. Isn't that fun? And of course, you can always add a little a little bit of the dots that just tie everything together. That's what I like. There we go. You might not be able to see them much, but I can see them. And so it would show up when you're doing your pictures. Okay, there we go. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you have fun creating a very quick, easy page with those little shortcuts. And have fun creating. We are going to have tons of fun at our retreat. I will see some of you there. And you are going to see this idea and you can make it there if you want to. All right, happy scrapbooking. I'm Lanita Medina from Camden, Maine.